I wanted to start off with this aircraft, the Extra 500. It is a spectacular looking piece of machinery, isn't it? Extra, I'm sure you know the name because they've got the most amazing aerobatic aircraft. In fact, Rob, if you have a quick peep over there, you can see the beautiful red one over there. But this is a little bit different, isn't it? Walter, you're from Extra. Yes. Is it a business jet? Is it? What, what is it? Well, it's meant to uh, carry people around uh, on uh, reasonably long distance for the size of airplane. We can go uh, 1,600 nautical miles, so cover quite a distance. Yeah. And uh, it's a family airplane or it's a business airplane for the self-flying businessman. Now, I've never been in an extra like that, but I've seen them fly and they look pretty hectic. Why go from something as spectacular as that to something like this? Well, you know, it's a different uh, part of the same uh, ball game. Yeah. Uh, this well, it's is a totally different market, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. But uh, you know what? My family grew, and uh, not everybody was fond of doing loopings all the day, <laughs> all day long. So I can't uh, do it either. <laughs> <laughs> I, they, they kind of told me to make something uh, to take you places, and that's the answer to, to the problem. Right. <laughs> Should we have a look inside this? Sure. If Rob can keep up with us, because this is absolutely beautiful inside. I'll let you open the. Uh, the catch because this is a nice how old is this aircraft actually Walter it looks very new straight yeah. out of the showroom yeah it's um, well this one actually is our test bed and has flown like uh, 700 hours now right. so uh, it does have some experience uh, took me to the United States a couple of times and that was pure fun it was. <laughs> let's get in there come on let's have a look inside Rob if you can keep up with us and uh, just have a look at this beautiful leather trim Actually, water's just gone straight through there, but let's just have a quick look inside here, and then I'm going to pop into the uh, cockpit as well. But you can see, uh, as always with this kind of thing, beautiful leather. Uh, but it's a lot smaller than your standard biz jet. But I'll have a let's uh, let's climb through here, actually, Rob. Right, so we're in the cockpit now, Walter. Um, it kind of is like a biz jet, isn't it? Although this is a test aircraft, so. What, tell us a bit about the layout and the comfort and that kind of thing. Well, you know, this is um, meant to carry six people around and. Um this is the very, very first one, and this is the airplane we have gained some experience in. We are now in production. We are just, uh, well, 80% ready for the, uh, with the first production airplane. It will be delivered uh, in f uh, fall this year. Yeah. If everything goes well, but it will go well, I'm sure about that. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay, so what's it like to fly? Uh, it's, just, it's just gorgeous. I think the... I don't know any other airplane uh, that has um, such a low workload for the pilot. And as you can see, there's decent comfort, there's a decent amount of room in this airplane. I mean, you buy a lot of airplanes for the money, let me, let me put it this way. There's bigger bigger airplanes around, but um, we are selling at 1.1 1 .1, uh, million euros, which is quite reasonable for a turbine-powered airplane. And um, I think we have a good selling point there. Got to ask you, everyone seems to be talking about VLJ, so don't they? Why would you go for something like this instead of holding off for a light jet? Well, it's, uh, it depends the mission and it uh, depends on the on your wallet. Um, I think there's a uh, good reason for all these airplanes. Uh, this one is very economical. You can fly it at, um, well, 80 liters per hour and even bring it down to 65 liters per hour. Um, there's nothing to my knowledge that comes close to that. Uh, it's just a question what, what what your requirement is. Mm -hmm. If you want to spend, or if you are, uh, uh, if you have reasons to spend more money on fuel, then you're better off in a uh, in, in a jet probably. If you also are not worried about runways, we can land on on grass runways with this one, where you probably have a hard time doing that uh, in a jet powered airplane. But yeah. that's your choice. Yeah. So absolutely, very much about mission. So just finally on that point about the actual flying pleasure, you said it was great. Just give us an idea about how it feel so because we've obviously got a lot of pilots out there watching the show. Well you know it's uh, it's got a very high wing load and that makes it uh, ride turbulence very very well so it's efficient and it's very comfortable and uh, as I said before I'm, I'm flying a lot with my family and everybody enjoys it. Real pleasure thank you very much Walter. <laughs> <laughs>